I, I think it's really important that we talk about this. I mean, we obviously have the one C on one hand, COVID-19, dominating uh, society and basically everything these past couple of years, but we cannot, or, or past year, I should say, but we can't forget the other C, which is climate change and climate action. So uh, we have seen over the course of the few weeks, um, you being very vocal about this, but let's talk about the public information center. So tonight, Halton region is hosting one for town of Milton residents. I believe. Can you talk about uh, what that is? I know you're partaking in this. Absolutely. Thanks for that. We are participating and we're encouraging as many people from Milton and any municipality in Halton, to be quite honest, even though it's being hosted for Milton, anyone from Halton is welcome. They will be telling us about the growth concepts that they've put together to design our official plan to the year 2051. So this is essentially going to do the development for the next 30 years. What is it going to look like? Where are we going to grow? How are we going to increase our density? And um, how are we going to develop as a community? And, you know, that's this is where certainly the environment comes into play. Milton is a very unique community and, of course, many other areas in Halton as well. We've got very diverse a sense of nature with our conservation Haltons and things like that. And that's where you're stepping in. You're really encouraging people to come out to really make sure that the municipalities and Halton region really considers the environment around them. Can you talk about that? What is exactly what is it exactly are you looking for from the region? Thanks for that. We're actually really excited that the region has included the GHG emissions comparison of the growth concepts that they're looking at. So if you've got a growth concept that says we're going to use a certain amount of greenfield versus a certain amount of intensification of existing urban area, we can weigh how much GHG emissions will result in that type of development. So having that information will allow us to make an informed decision for Milton's best interests and for Halton's best interests. We want to protect as much farmland as possible, predominantly because we know that we can't eat houses. We've got to be able to feed our people. Climate change is an impact on all of the environment and it will cause us to need local production in the future. We need to protect it. You know, we're talking about here, these are growth concepts for the next 30 years. And what do you say to some rhetoric that it's, oh, it's 30 years from now, I don't have to deal with it. Um, Why should we be planning for this so far ahead into the future? That is such a good question. We've seen our growth develop over the last 20 years. Milton has been one of the fastest growing municipalities in all of Canada. We have the opportunity to show Canada what green development can do for our future. We can reduce our greenhouse gas emissions while increasing our employment opportunities and our living opportunities here in Milton. So let's talk about tonight. So tonight's um, session is at seven o'clock. People can partake, but it's not the only one. Can you just explain that for those that may not be able to make it tonight? Absolutely. The region has a website that you can go to on their regional official plan and they list all the different events that they will be having, all the different picks, they call them, the public information centers. There's one tonight in Milton at seven o'clock. There's one in Burlington on May 11th, Oakville, May 13th, and North Aldershot, May 17th. And then there's a final region-wide pick that will be held on June 29th at 7 p.m. as well. All of these are virtual meetings that anyone can participate in. There is no reason to wait for your particular municipality. It's important that you let Halton know what's important to you and how you see the future of your municipality. And last question, uh, just as we wrap up here, for those that are kind of on the fence, again, who have some sort of, oh, I don't have to really think about it right now. What would you say to them in a sentence or two to really convince them to partake in these discussions of their future? Thanks, Melissa. It's going to be very important that we realize COVID is going to end. We've got the vaccine rollout happening and very shortly we're going to have it under control. What we don't yet have under control is the climate emergency. 
Halton and every municipality in it has declared a climate emergency, but we're not treating it like an emergency, like we've been treating COVID with all the attention and money and effort that is going to that. That's what we need to see now. So people need to come out to these public meetings to let their voices be heard, tell their governments how important it is that we act on this emergency and everything we do must be to address the emergency. We cannot take any action that does not result in reduced GHG emissions.